This is sixth grade math, chapter 11, lesson one, checking accounts. We're gonna talk about deposits and withdrawals. When you get a little older, you're gonna start a checking account. And it helps to understand what, how are you gonna use that. A deposit is when you take your money or your change or a check that someone's written you and you go to the bank and you deposit that money into your checking account. And they're gonna save that money for you. You can keep depositing it and let it build up until you want something or need to pay for something. And then you have to make a withdrawal. The withdrawal from your checking account will be taking money away from your account. You can write a check yourself to somebody and they're gonna go cash it and it's gonna withdraw from your account. You can take a credit card or a debit card, that's gonna withdraw. Anything that's gonna take money away from your checking account is a withdrawal. Anything that's gonna to add to your checking account will be a deposit. So for one through four, that's all you need to put is a deposit or a withdrawal. Number one, paying an online subscription bill. Would that be a deposit or a withdrawal? Number two, receiving a check for graduation present. Would you deposit that or would that be considered a withdrawal? Number three, using a debit card for a restaurant meal. Would that be a deposit or a withdrawal? Number four, taking money from an ATM. Would that be a deposit or a withdrawal? Number five, determine the balance for each checking account below. You have an opening balance of $894.55. If you withdraw, you're gonna subtract. If you deposit, that means you're gonna add. And you need to keep up with your balance here. after each transaction. So if I have a starting balance of this, $894.55, I'm going to withdraw $575. So I would subtract this from my deposit, my original balance. And I would put it right here. So now this is your new balance. But the next couple of days, you have to pay a utility bill. So you also need to withdraw that from your balance. So you take this answer, subtract your withdrawal, and write your new balance in. But then you have a payday. You get a paycheck. So you're going to go and deposit that into your checking account that would be an addition. So take this answer and add your paycheck to it. That's gonna go here. But then you have a car payment, so you have to withdraw, make a payment to your car company, so you're gonna subtract it from your new balance. And you're gonna put that answer here. Then you're gonna transfer money from your savings to put into your checking account. That would be a deposit. So you're gonna add this number in. Your new balance goes here. And then you have a debit purchase. Say you went to Walmart or somewhere in the mall, you wanted to buy a purse, shoes. That's gonna be a debit purchase. So you're using your debit card and it's just like withdrawing money from your account. So that's gonna be a subtraction from this number to get your new total balance. This is the answer. Same thing with number six. Number seven,
Kayla had a balance of $106.15 in her checking account. She deposited $75. What is her new balance? This was her original. She deposited this amount. What is the new balance? Make sure you put your dollar signs. Number eight, Willis had a balance of $546.24 in his checking account. He wrote a check for $135. What is his new balance? He wrote a check. What is the new balance? Show your work. On the back, we're going to determine the value after each transaction. You have an opening balance, you have a deposit. So how much money would you have after that transaction? Number two, opening balance of $45.34. You had a withdrawal of $21.22. What is your balance? Number three, opening balance of $137.62. You had a withdrawal of $105.31. Number four, opening balance, $127.44 but you made a deposit of $136.58. Number five, opening balance, $2,311.75. You had a withdrawal of $984.72. Number six, opening balance of $1,000 and $24.65 and you had a deposit of $1,092. Show your work. Show if you're going to be adding or subtracting, but show your work and circle your answer. Determine the balance for each checking account below. Opening checking account is $108.72. So this is exactly what we did on the front. If this helps you keep track, make it. Opening balance, withdrawals, deposits. Opening balance, you have a withdrawal, put the answer here. You have another withdrawal, put your answer here. And then at the very end, this is your new balance. And the same for number nine. If you have any questions, we expect to see you in the morning at 7.30 for morning tutorials.